Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 6. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, or that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting off with the 90s Japanese Championship. And we're going to be taking this Mazda RX-7. Um, I do like the Mazda RX-7. And it's obviously got a really interesting engine as well. It's not a typical piston engine. It's got the uh, triangle wankle rotor, rotor engine. So pretty cool. Pretty cool car. Um, so we're going to be driving that. And the pop-up headlights. And you can hear that as well. The engine is a completely different sound to any other car. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to take that. We're going to go to the Japanese 90s and start out with the Special Stage Route 5 Clubman track. Yes, let's go. Um, so we're looking at 540 or less performance points. We are at 430. We've obviously got Mitsubishi's... Oh, we could have done with a Mitsubishi. Maybe we'll upgrade the car uh, after this race if it's difficult. Um, but we are aiming just to get enough so we can then do the uh, classic supercar one. Uh, the classic sports car, which is next. But look at that scenery. We've got a Skyline GTR R34. Oh. That's an R34. Arr, we, might, we might struggle. Um, okay. It's worth a try. Um, we're going to make sure our traction control is down to nothing to give us as much chance as possible. But let's go and do this. The special stage route 5. Here we go. Let's do this. Come on, little Mazda. Do us proud. Right, we're overtaking another Mazda, which that one is actually two years after this Mazda. So, kind of surprised that we overtook it. These cars go through fuel like it's nothing, though. Because, obviously, with each piston... One rotation is three whole, like, explosion cycles, whereas a four-stroke engine, two rotations is one explosion per cylinder. So, obviously, with this doing, like, six per rotation, because I think these have, like, two chambers, you think that will go through probably the same amount of fuel as a V12 running at the same revs obviously not because they'll pump more fuel into a v12 but if you pump the same amount of fuel that's going into this into a v12 you're gonna have huge amounts of fuel being used in this though we have managed to catch up with the skyline which is whoa very impressive I was not expecting to catch up with the Skyline with this car. It is a decent car, though. I cannot deny that. I do like this RX, RX-7. Here we go. Back down into second gear for this corner. Go on. Go on, my car. Oh, they still have the uh, stupid uh, right thumbstick thing with the accelerator and the brake on the thumbstick. That's just annoying. But, oh, the GTO went back very far. That went back like four positions. Okay. Interesting. That does look very good, though, that car. Uh, 8,000 credits there. Three stars. Very nice. 
Uh, let's exit and go to the next track. The cars did look very good, though, on the uh, Japanese streets at night time. Uh, so next up is the twin, twin Ring Motor G. So let's do this. Um, we are looking at some very fast cars, though. I really wish we had have gone for, like, a Lancer. That probably would have been a better car to choose. Um, but here we are at the Twin Ring Motegi. Motegi. Probably, it's probably Motegi. I don't know. Uh, so we got an R2 R32s for this one. And a Supra. Ooh. Right, here we go. Mazda, do us proud. Oh, the pop-up lights on that. Hey, there we go. Just to flash your headlights. <laughs> I mean, if I did drive like this for the entire track, I could have them stay up. But then, as well, it's a bit of a nightmare. So uh, I'm not going to do that. I'll have them down for now. The fact that they actually mapped in like the actual headlights popping up and down, pretty sick. You gotta give it to them. Polyphony do a very good job and they go into every single detail with cars. Forza just seems to like, oh yeah, map them and then that's it. Once they've got one car, like yes, they make every single car sound realistic, but like once every car sounds realistic, you should add other stuff as well. Proper tuning. Something that Forza doesn't have. Like, not every car can you fit a Lamborghini V12 in and pump out 1,500 horsepower. But you can in Forza, and it's just not right. Like, Need for Speed Heat, even though they had no updates, did a very good job of the engine swap mechanic. And I'm doing a very bad job of overtaking this skyline. Perfect. Don't care if I was toxic then. We were behind schedule. We were behind the schedule. Alright, we are looking at a 146 for that lap. So aiming for 142 now. Though we did start on a rolling start, so maybe aiming for a 144 would be a better idea. Though, maybe 142 is possible. You never know. That is a Subaru Impreza, though. I do like the Impreza, and I do like the Supra, but the RX-7 will win. Awesome. Right, slowing down for this corner here. Ooh. Brilliant. That was very good there. Perfect. Alright, slowing down here. Not enough power to start a wheel slide at um, second gear, unfortunately. Here we go, slow down, perfect. Hairpin corner. Is this car front wheel drive? It looks front wheel drive based on how the tyres keep heating up. But, that's a very good time there. Uh, 3 minutes and 29 seconds, 3.4 second gap. Awesome. Right, we are now moving on to the next race. What is the next race going to be? Let's have a look. Right, starting grid, yeah. Bloody, bloody, blada. Exit. And here we go. Race number three is in Tokyo R246. This is going to be good. 
This is home of the RX-7. Hopefully we can get some uh, really good looking, like, the car's just going to look so at home here. And we are against five other cars, so I think, I think I was right. There are five, uh, to be fair though, this is cool. So there are three, uh, three different types of the RZ. You've got the 92 version, the 95 version, and the 96 version. All in one game. And then you've obviously got the 91 version, which I'm in, and another guy's in. And then a lonely little Subaru Impreza. Just on its own. So, this this is going to be crazy. This is all just going to be Mazda RX-7. Look, one, two, three. To be fair, we are in the bright yellow one, though. We are the standout character here. There we go. Nice, right. Slowing down for the first corner. Relying on late braking to catch up with the first RX-7. Very nice overtake there. No form of toxicity whatsoever. Onto the curb. They're a little bit more than I want it to be. But still getting around the corner very nicely. It's obviously 9 o'clock in the morning as well in the game. So, crazy. Oh, we hit the inside wall there. Coming up onto the second RX-7. And quickly overtaking them. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, we went very wide there. We didn't really break much. Right, overtaking RX-7 number 3 and the Impreza. Awesome. That little turbo hiss every single t uh, gear change. It's just the world's most satisfying thing. And slowing down for this corner here. Very sharp. Awesome. I've got a car to my left. I think it's my left. I hope it's my left. They're very close to my blind spot there. Awesome. Oh, look at that. We got the drift. Perfect. And here is the fourth and final RX-7. There we go. Squeezing past there. Perfect. Slowing down for the final corner here. Nice.
perfect. And across the line. Nicely done. Looking at 417.8 with a 0 0.3 second gap. Which is understandable, bearing in mind we are all in the same car. That was nearly like a one make race, almost. So there we go. 8,000 credits, which is very good. And very good for the next car that we are about to buy. So let's go and buy it now. Oh, right. So what we are going to be doing now is we are going to be doing the classic sports car series. And to do that, we need to go back to the dealership and we are going to grab the recommended car for this, which is the Lotus Europa. Um, this only has 126 brake horsepower, um, but its performance point rating is 400. Um, which is weird. Um, I'm trying to see which color I actually want to get this in. I feel like white just looks like really creamy and horrible. Red seems to be the only one that's decent. Or oh, orange. Orange looks good. We'll get orange. Um, and then what we're going to do, I'm going to double check as well what our performance points were allowed. Oh, that does look good. I do like that. You acquired the Colorado orange paint color. Awesome. Oh, listen to that engine. That is an old sounding engine. Right, uh, let's take a look and see what our maximum performance points are. 530 or less with sports hard tyres. So let's go. I feel like we've got more of a chance of getting power out of intake tuning. 131. 130. Yeah. Uh, catalytic converter, of course. Um, sports exhaust. And how much are said t uh, sports hard tyres? 6,700. Ooh, that's very expensive. We've got comfort, soft, uh, comfort softs on at the moment already. So I feel like we could stick with those. And put on the exhaust manifold upgrade. Um, oh, we probably should have put that on, actually. The uh, low RPM range turbo. Um, but we are all right for now. Uh, let's go. Here we go. Classic sports car series. We're starting off in Madrid, then moving to the circuit of Rome, and then the Silverstone Grand Prix circuit. So let's go to Madrid. Very nice. I want to try, as much as I am using the recommended cars, I want to try and stay away from them um, and sort of find my own cars. But those are sort of like a safe middle, like middle ground. Um, we're looking at a 300 SL, which is a very nice car. Very good classic. And a Ferrari Dino as well. So let's... Oh, and a Golf GTI. Golf Mark 1 GTI. That is an awesome car. So hopefully uh, we can get a very good time on this. Right, here we go. Obviously every single car in... Wait, what on earth is this? What is this view? This... <laughs> I think the game's a bit broken here because this is supposed to be like in front of the bumper and it feels like I'm driving a double-decker bus. Um, yeah, that's definitely broken. Like, look how much higher that is. That's as high as the road signs. Oof, we'll try and stay away from that camera view then. Very good there. Is this an Alpine up ahead? It 
It is. Or it looks... Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's an alpine. If it's not, please correct me. Very nice. Up into fifth gear along this straight. Oh no! The Ferrari made contact with us. Might not win this one now. Might be time for double decker mode. Yeah, I genuinely have just thought of an idea for a video using this car. I have thought of an idea. Come on, we're relying on the acceleration. Yes, definitely did not just force that guy to slow down. 0 0.3 seconds there, look at that. That is insane. Right. 2 minutes 16.2. That was sick. That was epic. Right. Uh, we are now done with this race. Moving on to the next one. I can't remember what the next track was. I've already forgotten. Ah, no, it was Rome, wasn't it? Right, let's go to Roma. Roma. Gran Turismo. Right, R Circuit de Rome, let's do this. Classic Sports Car Series Race 2. I do like Lotus. Lotus is a very good car brand, but their older cars are more classics, not racers. So, there's a BMW 2002 in there. Oh, I do like the look of that. Right, let's do this. Here's the BMW. Is that a Stratos? No way. That is a Lancia Stratos. The thing I like about this game is that every single car has been remapped, I'm pretty sure. I'm looking forward to seeing how many cars they're going to get in Gran Turismo 7. I'm looking forward to it taking up half of the storage space on the PS5 as well. Oh! Watch it! Perfect. One minute and four seconds for that. Nice. If you're able to drift the car like that, that is pretty cool. Perfect. Right, onto the brakes. Nice. Awesome. I have a feeling we're on track as well to beating our lap time, which would be really awesome to see. Perfect. Cars are fighting back there in 
third and fourth. Oh, 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 there's a car coming behind me. But I'm not going to allow it. As much as it is a Stratos, and Stratos is amazing, you're not going to beat me today. Thank you very much. And look at that, 3 minutes, 4.53. Nice. On to the final circuit, which is going to be the Silverstone track. 8,000 credits. We're at exactly 20,000 now. Awesome. Right, off to Silverstone. It's time to see what this track has to offer. I mean, we know what the track has to offer, but like, what does it have to offer for our car? Is it going to be fun? I hope it is. If it's not, that would be a little bit disappointing. But here we are at Silverstone. Let's go. 7.32 miles of drive. Right, let's go. The classic... Wow. The Silverstone Grand Prix circuit. Let's do this. I don't actually know. I think they used to do the Grand Prix circuit before. And then they went to the... They took this, like, middle section out, I'm pretty sure, and went to the other track, and now they're going for the Grand Prix circuit again. Awesome. Get around that corner very nicely. Is it still bus mode? Yes, it is. Look at that. Look at that. What? How is this even a thing? Like, explain. Polyphony, explain. You would have thought if you put this as a recommended car, you would have made sure it was perfect. What on earth are you doing? What on earth are you? That is the weirdest looking car I have ever seen. Look at the front of it. That is disgusting. Right, here we go, coming on to the straight, coming towards the old start line. There we go. <laughs> awesome. I love not having traction control. In Gran Turismo, it's fun because you can actually control slides in this. Unlike most games like Forza, you can't control them that well. NASCAR's still annoying in this game, though. Like, that is frustrating, NASCAR. Here we go. Slowing down for this corner. Perfect. Awesome. And coming across the line for lap number two. Awesome. Perfect. Wasn't enough uh, speed to go slide in through there. Very nice.
Look at that. That is how you start a slide. Oof. That is cool. Go, slow down. Oh, we've gone off the road there. Managed to recover though, so it is, it is all fine. Perfect. Nice. Here we go. Right, we are 1.4 seconds ahead. Slowing down at just the right moment there as well. Come on, come on. Come on. And across the finish. First place. Ta-da. Five minutes, 34.021. That is a very good time. Awesome. And let's see how much money we got. 28.850. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Run for your fucking life.